Can you get your small dog to walk on a leash under five minutes? I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Hey guys, Felix from Dog Train Beyond. I've been training dogs for 13 years, trained tons and tons of dogs. And one of the most common things is small dogs, walking them on the leashes. I've seen all kinds of crazy stuff. I've seen people try to walk the dog and the dog's going this way and the person's going that way and the dog's like this and all that stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff with small dogs. One of the number one issues is because people have a tendency to put the small dogs in the harness. You put your dog in the harness, I don't care how big or how small they're going to pull. They're not going to understand how to walk or the proper way to walk. Even a no-pull harness, they will still pull. The front clip is going to twist them up, but they're still pulling. So why don't you just teach them how to walk? Every dog needs to learn, even small ones. So today I'm going to be working with Bear. He's about 10, 15 pounds, small little guy. But I'm still going to teach him like to walk as if he's a big dog. I'm going to be using a puppy prong cut because he's a small dog. He's not a puppy. Well, he's under a year old, but he's still he's a small dog. It's a 2 millimeter prong collar, and I usually get the 14-inch 2 millimeter. This collar is going to provide information. That's what we got to do, provide information. The dog needs to know what to do and not to do, such as not pull, such as not go that way when we're going this way. All this is provided through the leash. You need to provide information. This collar is going to help him learn not to pull. He's going to walk a lot better. The owner's going to understand how to provide the information. And everything's going to be so much nicer. So this is his regular leash. I'm just using his leash that he came with. But I'm providing the little puppy prong collar on him. And you're going to see me how I start teaching him how to get better in a real short amount of time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth and you'll see me go in the opposite direction of where he's going. And that is going to start teaching him that he has to go my direction. So I'm going to go this way and I'm going to walk this way, go in the opposite direction. Go in the opposite direction. Good. So he wanted to go to the left, I correct him, go back with me. People like say, oh, you know, I have a small dog. I can't walk this little small dog. Actually, small dogs are very easy if you know what you're doing. Small dogs are not as tough as the big dogs, some of them. So you could work them very easily and they'll get the understanding. Let's go. So he wants to go behind me. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go this way, turn my direction, go backwards. And I call this the crazy movement, all right? Why is it crazy? Because I'm not going in one specific direction. I'm going in different directions and just teach him to go with me. When he, he goes ahead, I go a different direction. He goes ahead, I go a different direction. See me going backwards? Let's go. Good, let's go. Good. See that focus on him, focus from him? Uh -uh. Let's go. Easy. Good, it's good, good. So now he's staying with me a little bit more. I'm giving tiny micro corrections so he knows what I want to do. I don't have to do it hard a lot. What I do have to do is give him direction. See that he wants to go a little bit ahead? I give him a little bit, a little correction, a little pressure back for a split second and then release it. If you notice my leash right now, see right there, if you look at the leash, the leash is, is loose, all right? I always have it loose. When he's near in the spot that I want him, the leash is always loose. Let's go. Good, let's go. So actually, believe it or not, a lot of dogs, see that he wants to go to the left. I gave him little micro corrections. I, you don't have to correct dog hard. You have to give him information. So. Bear is a very, it's not a hard dog, but what the, the problem is with him, it's like everyone else, the wrong type of tool, a harness most of the time, especially small dogs. People always want to put a harness on a small dog, right? Because they're always pulling, they're always going. But if, I'm using the prong collar to provide little bits of pressure, little corrections, little pops to provide information to him and then I'm leasing it, okay? If you're in the Poughkeepsie area or near Poughkeepsie or Dutchess Cali, click below for a free consultation. Let's go. 
no, no. See, he goes ahead. I don't want him to go ahead. He goes ahead. Let's go. Good. So I'm walking. He goes ahead. Let's go. Good. Ah, ah, ah. So, good. Let's go. Good. It's not really him learning how to walk nicely. It is part of that. But a lot of it is the handler. The person handling the leash. The person providing the information. If you're not providing him any information, he's not going to know what he's supposed to do. Let's go. I give him information. We go, right? And I'm going to move. I'm not going to... Come on. Let's go. Good. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Good. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Good. Ah, not too far. Not too much. Good. Let's go. So I'm just giving him a little bit of information. He has a tendency to want to go behind me, right? So I bring him around me. I'm not going to let him go behind me. Let's go. So I provide a little information. I'm telling him, let's go. Let's go means we're moving. If he doesn't want to move, I'm just going to keep on walking. All right. And as soon as he complies with the pressure, then the pressure goes away. Right. So it's all him. Let's go. Good. Yeah. Don't. So he likes to run to that front door. You see that door behind me? He likes to go 100 miles an hour. So let's go. He likes, you see that where we're going right now? He wants to go 100 miles an hour. Let's go. So I'm going to teach him not to do that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good. So I'm, I'm providing a lot of corrections here and there, but he's getting it, and it's not that much. Once he starts getting it, with really getting it, he'll understand. Let's go. He's just so used to getting his way with pulling, uh, whether they use the harness or they use the flat collar. He's so used to just getting his way. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Move. So when I turn, I tell him, let's go. Give him some information. I'm giving him some information. He goes ahead. No. He likes to go a little bit ahead. We're going to do that again. So... <laughs> Wait, he quit on me? So it's okay. If he wants to he wants to rest between you know, lay down when we're taking a break is fine. But when I tell him let's go, good. So I'm just gonna walk across here. Let's go. Come on. Good, let's go. And there's no real direction, no real major direction, right? Let's go. Come. Good. Uh, no jump. So I couldn't correct him for jumping. Give him a lot of information. Don't go ahead. See, I want him right next to me. Right next to me. See, oh, off, off. No jump. Give him a little corrections. Nothing hard. Just little taps. Little, little taps. Let's go. Ah, ah. Little taps. Good. Good. See that? He's doing better. Let's go. Good. He's like, why are we not going out this door? <laughs> because we're just, we're just walking in circles. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Good. I go the opposite direction. He goes ahead of me. I go opposite direction. He, go, he goes that direction. I go this direction. I'm walking backwards. All right. No jump. No jump. No jump. Let's go. Good. Good. Good boy. Come on. Let's go. Good. Good. Let's go. Good. Good boy. Nice. Let's go. Good. And guess what? Uh -uh, no. No. No jump. Good. Let's go. Opposite direction. Opposite direction. He goes ahead of me. I turn. I, I do 180. I turn. He goes that way. I turn this way. I go back. Same thing. He keeps on doing that. I give him a little bit more leash now, right? To make mistakes. Let's go. Let's go. He has to focus on me. Let's go. Good. Good. Good boy. And he didn't jump that time. 
Excellent. Let's go a little closer to the camera. See? No jump. Excellent. Good job. And that's, keep on watching, and this is how you train a little dog in five minutes with crazy walk. Good job, Bear.